So here we have got one error, too many re-renders, React limits the number of renders to prevent an infinite loop. And you can see the error is coming at this line. So the reason why this error comes is because uh, in your uh, function component, if you want to uh, render something, uh, we have the JSX expressions like that. And within those JSX ex expressions, if you call the set state function, so most probably your component will have states and there will be methods to set the state. For example, here is one state count and there is a method set count to set the count state. And there is another uh, state and there is set state. There is another state called as user. And set user is the method or the function that is used to set the user state. So basically what happens is that if you call uh, this method set user or set state or set count in your JSX, for example, here we have got this set state call and basically what is happening is that when this component is getting rendered, this particular set state is getting called and what happens is that once set state is called, the component is again rendered. So once again it comes at this particular line and again set state is called and then component is again starts rendering and again this uh, comes to this line and then again set state is getting called. So basically there is an infinite loop and that is what this error is about. Okay, too many re-renders. So basically what you have to see is that you are not calling the set state or uh, this particular function. It can be any function basically. It is uh, not necessary that function name is set state. It can be set count, set user, etc. So you can give any name basically. So we don't have to call that particular function. So basically we uh, we have got this button and on click we want to set the state, but this is not the way how we set the state. So what you have to do is you have to use this lambda expression or lambda function. And in here we can uh, set the state like that. So basically you have to pass the reference to, to the function that you want to call as a handler. So if you don't use the lambda and directly call this one, so basically it is directly that point of time it is calling this set state function, which we don't want. We want to call this function when the button is clicked. And that's why this lambda expression is very important. With the lambda expressions, what happens is that this particular uh, function doesn't get called immediately. This function will get called after user clicks on the button and while rendering that function will not be called and once we do that and save it you can see that error is gone so in your case just go through the component and then see that you have not called the set state particular function in your jsx that's it. That's how you will be able to fix it. Thanks for watching this video.